Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy and today I'm going to be going through the full drop list for this week which is week 8 of the spring summer season. Now the main highlight for this week is probably the best accessory of the season which is the Hot Wheels Supreme car or car slash van as it comes with like two pieces in one sort of thing. So yeah, that is the main highlight for this week but without further ado, let's get into this drop list. There are a couple of decent pieces, a couple of pieces that we'll just skip over or go over quite briefly but yeah let's just get into it as always drops by jay's link and supreme community's link as well as all of the other links will either be in my pinned comment or in the description so yeah if you'd like to join the discord or look at any of my social medias or anything like that that's all down below but let's just get into it so we have the supreme hot wheels fleet flyer and 1992 bmw m3 accessory that is going to be coming out it currently has over 13,000 likes when i looked at it earlier on today it was at about 9,000 so yeah there is there is a lot of hype for this piece and just going into this piece in general for me personally I hope that this does not fly because I'd like to be able to like at least get it or have a chance of getting it uh, because it seems that there are a lot of people who are wanting to go after it Jay put out that the retail is going to be $30 so yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice and easy checkout on this piece, but we'll have to see. The next piece that we have is the classic ad hooded sweatshirt. I literally think that it is just Supreme putting an ad on a hoodie. And yeah, that is that is it pretty much. Uh, if I can look at the image up close anymore, then I'll probably have a better opinion. But currently, that is all that I can say for it. So yeah, looking at it up close it is literally uh, people wearing like the classic Supreme uh, logo and everything on a T and it is is just an ad yeah that's that's the best way to put it, it is literally just an ad next up we have the supreme raiders uh thermal yeah I, I was gonna add something to that but there's not really much else to say it's literally a thermal it's official merchandise or official raiders merchandise which is exclusive for supreme it's the blown up logo on the front and then on the side uh, you have an applique logo. There isn't much else to say for it except I do like that the logo is as big as it is. And I hope when it comes around to the summer tees or when they release this on AT that they do the same thing and just have a massive blown up logo. Next we have the two-tone camp cap which I thought that I remember seeing a couple of weeks ago that it was going to release but it didn't. Uh, personally for me I still remember in these colorways being either the blue the orange sort of colour and the white colourway were the ones that I liked, but I'll not be going for it. I should have gone for one of the hats that was released last week, but I didn't in the end uh, because I was so disappointed after the live cop or the attempted live cop. So yeah, following this we have the highest standard athletic short sleeve top. It literally says highest standard supreme on it. Personally for me, I think that either the purple or the sort of olive green colourway are nice in this piece, but I probably won't be going for it. Uh, because you can probably pick up a piece that's of the same standard from a couple of years ago for probably half the price now. Following the almost, I guess you could say, success of either last week or the week before when they released the Reaper work jacket or the Reaper jacket, we are now getting the Reaper rayon short sleeve shirt. It is coming out in three different colorways. Again, it just gives me a very scream like vibe to it i don't know how this will go down in comparison to the jacket that was released but we'll have to see how people feel about it personally for me i don't think any of the colorways really match with me too well with this piece i think just any of them have like highlights of other colors that are included in the other shirts they do have different designs i believe on each of these shirts which will obviously change people's opinion uh, depending on which color you're going for you'll get a different piece but we'll have to wait and see as to how it actually sells since this is the sort of raiders week i guess you could say as well we are getting the embroidered harrington jacket the logo pattern across it is completely embroidered and yeah yet again it is exclusively for supreme and we have it's like i believe almost like the old english style font uh, is also embroidered on the chest. Following that, we have the Raiders denim vest. This piece doesn't really do too much for me. I did like the side of the logo being as big as it is on this vest. However, I don't know how people are going to react to this or whether it is going to sell out or whether it isn't going to sell out. Recently, vests have had a sort of value to them or people have been wanting them a bit more, but I don't know how they'll react to this piece as currently it nearly has four times the dislikes to its likes. From here on out, we do have a lot of pieces that have a lot of dislikes, starting off with the nylon ripstop pant. Going around the front to the back of it is where it says Supreme, so it just goes all the way around. They're water resistant, 
Personally for me, they aren't anything special. Uh, the colorway that stands out is probably just this front lime colorway, but then again, it is quite vibrant, so it's not really for me. Uh, but yeah, I don't know whether I don't like it or if I do like it, but I like the aspect of the text going all the way around. At the same time, they could have just put it going down like the back of the leg or at the front of the leg, but I guess it's something just for it to stand out. Following that, we then have the Raiders beanie. There's no back image for this piece. We've just got the front to it. So I'm sure on the back, it's just going to have it embroidered supreme. I don't know what the price on this will be as normally beanies are between 30 and 40 pounds. So we'll just have to wait and see for the price on this. If its price is above like 40 pounds, I probably won't be going for it. But I think that having the patch embroidered, it does look quite nice, but... I'm sure in a different colorway it would probably stand out a bit better than just the black colorway. Next up we have the over dyed tee. It's got the classic supreme font embroidered on it or it looks like it's embroidered on it. It's going to be one of these premium tees so it's going to be the same sort of price as the long sleeve that was released last week. So yeah I'm not going to estimate a price for it but I know that it is going to be one of the premium ones which is anywhere from like 55 to like 80 pounds or 60 to 80 pounds. I do like the natural and the gray colorway in this over dyed piece or the black colorway that they've got. Maybe the pink as well, but I'm not really too much of a fan of over dyed pieces this season because a lot of them haven't really turned out too well while I've seen pictures of them and they haven't really been too appealing for me, but I think that the natural colorway will work fine in this by itself. Next up, we have the Star Zip Up Sweatshirt. This is a piece that I just really didn't like when I saw it in the preview. It is literally just a small star on the left pocket which is embroidered that says Supreme and that is it. If there's anything on the back it would probably make up for the fact of it but just in general there is just no effort put into this piece for me. It might be trying to follow like the stars puffy jacket that they released but still at that it's just one small logo uh, that is on the pocket so... Yeah, it's a yikes for me personally. We then have the embroidered chino pant, uh, the Raiders one, coming out in two different colorway. Again, it says that there's an embroidered logo pattern going over the piece, so I'm guessing that is the Raiders logo that is embroidered over it. And we have this sort of old classic English font that is embroidered again at the top right of the pan. I don't know how to feel about the Raiders pieces overall. I mean, I like the beanie. I'm okay with the thermal. Apart from that, the other pieces aren't really blending or meshing with me too well. Uh, I do like the size of the logo on the denim vest, but I'm not a fan of the vest by itself. So, yeah, it's a hit and miss sort of uh, collaboration, I'd say. We then have the rip stop hooded pullover that is going to be coming out. Personally, I do actually like this piece, but I don't know what its price would be. I think the pullovers are very like underrated when it comes to them just in general. Obviously, it's following the same as the rip stop pant that they're also releasing where the logo is going around the arm in this case i think that personally this piece is quite underrated so yeah we'll have to see what its price will be and then obviously see how people actually feel about it for the last two pieces uh, they have not been received well so far so first we have the contrast stitch crusher uh i'm normally okay with crushers but this is a bit of <laughs> This is a bit of a yikes for me personally, and I'm just going to move ahead. Possibly the red colorway is okay, but yeah, it's a yikes. And to finish off, we have the Vines Rayon shirt. I normally like, like I normally say that I like flower pieces or anything like that, but this is just horrific and uh, it is the biggest yikes because it currently has just over 260 likes and nearly 2,000 dislikes. So yeah. It is not for me personally, and uh, yeah. So that is going to cover the drop list for this week. What do you think of the items that have been released? And obviously, what are you going to go for? I know that a large majority of people are going to go for the Hot Wheels piece, so I might drop a comment just saying, like, if you're going for the Hot Wheels piece, just like it, you know, sort of thing, or someone can comment that. And we'll see how many people are actually going to be going for that or wanting to go for it. Apart from that, there are only a couple of pieces that I think are really decent this week. There are a couple of pieces that might be underrated. I think that the beanie, the pullover, and then the thermal are nice. I'm not really a fan of a majority of the other pieces. The overdyed tee is okay, but it's nothing special by itself. I definitely think that the Hot Wheels piece is going to be the highlight of what people are going to be going for. And we might see a couple of colorways in the classic ad hooded sweatshirt sell out too, as people aren't really hating that too much they're actually liking it a little bit so yeah that is going to cover this video thank you for watching i'd say that this week 
is average. It's nothing special. I think that the Hot Wheels piece is only going to be the main standout piece from this week. And other than that, I can't really see anything being like the top tier uh, for this week. So yeah, as I said, thank you for watching and I will see you on Thursday for a live cop as I'm not going to upload an unboxing because I have two pieces. I'm waiting on another piece, but I don't really want to upload a small unboxing. I like just doing like all items together and a lot of pieces. So yeah, I'll see you on Thursday for hopefully a nice and easy live cop. Peace. Thank you.